So you're thinking of getting your smile work done. You want that smile makeover and you're ready to improve the how your smile looks. Well, there are some things really to think about first um, before getting started on that journey. So the first thing is really being uh, precise um, about what you want to achieve from the smile makeover. Is it a brighter smile? Is it a wider smile? Is it that you want your teeth to have a certain shape and symmetry and proportion to them? What exactly is it that you want to achieve with the smile makeover? When you're clear about what you want to achieve, it helps me to then plan and design and stage your treatment to actually achieve that result for you. So smile makeovers, it, they can consist of several things. It might be that um, you need um, teeth um, shaped by composite bonding, maybe veneers, maybe some crowns. Different things can be um, added into your plan to bring out the smile that you're looking for. It might be that your teeth need to be positioned into a better position first, a better bite, so that whatever is done to improve the teeth and the appearance of the teeth lasts for an even longer time. So all these different things and elements can be involved in a smile makeover. But with any smile makeover, the foundations have to be good. So what I mean by that is you wouldn't build a house um, on sandy ground. You want a nice solid foundation when you're building a house. Same with the mouth. You want nice solid foundations and the foundations are the gums. You need to make sure that your gums are very healthy, pristine condition, because once your gums are healthy, whatever we build on top of that is going to last a long time and it's going to look great. So gum health needs to be looked at. We need to make sure that if there are any teeth which have tooth decay or any teeth that have any damage, we need to look at repairing that first, sorting that out first so that any smile makeover that's performed will look great and won't be causing you issues, pain, that sort of thing, abscesses um, afterwards. So we need to make sure that everything is in order, that you are in dental health, and then we can carry out the smile makeover. So with smile makeovers, one of the things that people are going to be considering is how much is it going to cost? Now, there's no one magic number for this or even a range of values for this because if your smile makeover included implants um, and it needed some veneers or crowns, that's going to be different from a smile makeover which need maybe just Invisalign and whitening. So it all depends on what's going to be needed to achieve your smile in terms of what the range of cost is going to be. Most practices will offer payment plans so you can spread the cost for your treatment. Um, so that's something to think about. And most practices will offer an interest-free option for payment plans so you can spread that cost. In terms of how long your treatment will take, again, if some straightening is involved, it could take six to nine months for that straightening process and then um, some treatment after that to make the teeth look great. If it's implants, it might be three or four months uh, to sort out those implants for you. So again, the length um, for your smile makeover is going to depend on what's needed for your smile makeover. One thing I think is crucial uh, when you decide to have a smile makeover is always think about maintaining that smile. Who's going to maintain that smile? Um, if anything needs to be repaired or sorted out after the smile makeover, what happens then? So with myself, I like to offer my patients aftercare appointments so I can review them after the smile makeover. Um, and you know, if anything needs repairing within the year, it's all included um, in their package so that they don't have to pay any extra. So really find out what the aftercare um, is like with whatever clinic you're being seen at. Um, if repairs are needed, are you going to have to pay extra for that or is that included um, in the package that you are paying for? One thing I'd say with smile makeovers is you want to make sure that you pick a clinician and a dental practice that suits you. You wanna make sure that you really get along uh, with the clinician that you're seeing, that there's a rapport there, because you're gonna be seeing them for some time and you wanna be able to get along with them, understand their way of communication and they understand your style of communication. So it's important that the clinic fits in with you. 
uh, and that you fit in with the clinic as well. A great thing to do is to check out the work that that clinic is producing, that that dentist is producing, because it'll just give you evidence as to whether they can actually achieve the type of smile that you're looking to get. So looking at their portfolio, at their reviews, it's gonna be a great indicator for you whether that clinic can actually achieve what you want, a great looking smile. So I hope that's helpful for you before you get into your smile makeover and I look forward to seeing you at the next video.